Hey guys, Rolly is here for another well-detailed, that honest, long and nasty unboxing video. <laughs> this time I'm going to unbox this Boss GT1000. <laughs> I've watched some YouTube reviews about this product and there are a few very important things that nobody has ever told about. Maybe they haven't tried these things, so stay with me. This is going to be long and nasty, but nasty in a good way. <laughs> so let's open the box and... Check this pedal out. <laughs> manual. Never read the manual. Don't fucking read the manual. <laughs> it was fucking expensive. <laughs> Hello, beauty. To be honest, it's a beautiful piece of gear. A lot of R and D went into this product. I just, I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh my God! Serious, how many? How many plugs and things like that. So, let's put it together. <laughs> so guys, the first thing I'm checking out is how much does the multi-effect color the sound. And now, through the multi-effect, but nothing is turned on, everything turned off, just straight to the effect and no pedal, no effects turned on. Have a listen. Again. It's very good. I, actually, I prefer the sound through the multi effect. <laughs> Maybe it has a nice buffer on it or something because obviously, when it goes through the multi effect, it, the, the cable length is double because the, from the guitar it goes to the multi effect and from the effect goes to the amp. So the, the length of the cable is double, but it sounds better. <laughs> so it doesn't color the sound badly or negatively at all. I, I'm quite happy with it. And I, I didn't hear any quality loss or anything like that. It, it, it actually sounds better with the, with the multi-effect plugged in. That was nice. Let's see the overdrives now. <laughs> So this was the natural overdrive and it sounded really good and the feel was great as well. So this was one of the first impression what I what I had the feel. It was like a absolute like like a like an overdrive pedal, like a normal analog stonebox pedal. I didn't feel anything, you know, anything strange or anything weird or things like that. So let's try a, a tube screamer type overdrive now. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm very impressed with this pedal, so it's time to drink a bit of cognac. <laughs> this was a tube screamer and I know tube screamers quite well because since I've been playing on guitar, you know, I have a tube screamer on my board and this was a digitally reproduced tube screamer and for my ears I couldn't hear any harshness or any digital things, anything that I wouldn't like, so I was quite impressed with it to be honest. I can play a whole night I can play a whole gig on this. <laughs> this was a quite nice tube screamer, I think. Guys, let's carry on and now let's check some delay sound out. Let, at least a nice tape delay. You know there are tons of delays in this in this thing so at the moment I just wanna set it up as a stone box so just a just head of tape delay at the end of the note so let's check that out <laughs> So guys, how did you like the tape delay sound? I quite enjoyed it. Let, let's add some chorus now and check this out. <laughs> Roxanne and Riders on the Storm both sounded great. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot, so I'm quite impressed with this pedal, guys. I'm absolutely impressed. This is the first time I'm impressed with a multi effect pedal. <laughs> yeah, man, this is this is a really good one. Uh, let's try some lead sounds now. <laughs> So guys, 
guys, let me summarize my opinion about this pedal. It's very fucking impressive. I tell you what, this was the first time when I preferred the sound through this pedal board than the straight plugged in sound. Now that's that's serious. That means that the ADDA conversion or whatever they call it, that is ultra high quality. That is that is amazing, very impressive, fantastic job they did with this. So actually the sound through this multi effects controller or whatever or, or effects processor was better than the straight plugged in sound to the amp. Now that's that's never happened before. This was the first time, you know, before before I played through like Fender Twins and Marshall JTM 45s or Mesa Boogie Mark 1s. These were my amplifiers and never used multi-effect processors because all of them killed the, the original signal, even just a tad, and they killed the feel as well. Now nothing, zero, zero, nothing happened with this pedal. So that's very, very, very impressive. Another thing, the overdrive pedals sound very natural. So when they call it natural overdrive, as you can see it on the video, the natural overdrive sounds very natural. The tube screamer. I don't think I don't think any people, uh, anyone in the crowd can tell if you use the tube screamer from this pedal or a hand wired tube screamer worth three hundred pounds alone. It's I I'm I'm. I, I'm, I'm ser serious guys, I think no one in the crowd can tell if you use a digital tube screamer from this multi-effect processor or analog stonebox anymore. They are so fucking close, I didn't feel anything, I didn't hear anything bad or anything. Check the video out, rewind it, go back. It was very, very impressive and the natural overdrive as well very natural so to be honest it sounded like a clone or something like that it's very high quality and the delay obviously this this amount of time wasn't enough for testing everything i really want to test the, this multi-effect processor through the fx loop of the two amp or the mesa or something like that i'm 100 percent sure those those sounds those delay sounds are going to be amazing they got like all these beautiful shimmering sounds and things like that so very 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 impressive it's worth the money what i paid for it and i think i can highly recommend it to you uh yes hope you enjoyed this video bye bye if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and drop me a thumbs up <laughs>